When it comes to the connection between Buddhism and wisdom, it would not be accurate to say that the path to wisdom is found exclusively through Buddhism. However, it would be accurate to say that a life spent practicing Buddhism would make you a wiser person. You would definitely achieve such wisdom to a far greater degree than a lifetime of idle pursuits. That is because many of the processes of Buddhism are found in rather earthen and common thought processes. Namely, Buddhism combines basic logic and common sense with a spiritual dimension. Some may wonder how such an assessment can be made. They might look at the common icons, such as the Buddha statue or the New Age practice of meditation, and assume that Buddhism is far removed from a humanist concept such as logic. This is certainly not an accurate assessment, and a closer study of Buddhism will reveal the logical underpinnings of Buddhist theory. Such concepts of wisdom can be found clearly in the cones designed to teach Buddhist thought and practice. Here is an example of how a cone may yield insight into wisdom-based thinking. There are those that might be familiar with the cone of the greedy artist. This cone deals with an artist that was enormously talented and charged a great deal of money for his artwork. People began to resent him because they assumed he was greedy and hoarded all his money. He lived a lonely life as a result, but carried on charging great fees for his artwork. Then, one day, and without warning, he retired. Upon retiring, people discovered the cause of his greed. He was using all his money to feed the local poor and sick, and kept little of his earnings for himself. Upon his departure, people realized that their initial impressions of the man were not correct. Such a tale truly does spell out much of the great essence of wisdom as taught through the theory and practice of Buddhism. Yes, you could discuss such a concept along the lines of do not judge a book by its cover, but the wisdom presented in such a tale is much deeper than that. It shows the folly people may develop in their creation of impressions. Additionally, it shows the limitations of such impressions. As a result, the wisdom of Buddhism seeks its practitioners to be free of bondage and constraint and not attach oneself to preconceived notions and ideas. This can aid in achieving a life free of suffering, which brings us to our next point. One of the main points in Buddhism is found in the Four Noble Truths. In particular, it would be the First Noble Truth which is that life is suffering. On the surface, many would assume this means that life is terrible and that a cynical outlook on life is necessary. This really is not a form of Buddhist wisdom, since possessing a cynical outlook could be considered a form of attachment. No, what life is suffering means is that things sometimes do not go as we planned and the outcomes we desire are not possible all the time. 